Now, if you look at the organizational structure, what does that really mean? Horizon One is typically led by the COO, the chief operating, the chief marketing and the chief financial officer. They are working on keeping this ship steady, slowly advancing with incremental improvements and changes. However, in Horizon 3, it can't be the same guys, right? Because competencies, people, structures, rules, marketing approaches, feedback, learning mechanisms, everything, as we just discussed, changes. So here we need to put the Horizon 3 business, basically radical innovation, under the leadership of a chief new business officer or somebody like that, who himself owns an incubation department, which is in charge of generating new projects, new approaches, and then accelerating those who are done well. And here we see another key issues. First of all, organizations are not set up in that way. Innovation is typically taking care of the existing business in Horizon 1. But no wonder it doesn't work. I mean, how, how could you possibly expect that? And second, while most organizations, most very large organizations at least, do have an incubator, very few ones have the capabilities to accelerate growth. But where do you want to go if you don't know how to accelerate something? And this is why, while there are many good ideas coming out of large organizations, very few manage to get to a size which is relevant because simply they are failing to be accelerated. And the Horizon 1 structure can't do that. They have a much bigger business and a different purpose to take care of instead of accelerating a small startup idea. And that's why it's not happening. Organizations give birth to good ideas, at least sometimes, but then they fail to grow them because they don't have the required organizational structure. Thank you.